Hello everyone, I am Dr. Adil Zia and today I am going to talk about how you can search Scopus Index journals without having any subscription or creating any account which is required to search good quality journals indexed in the Scopus. Now to search these journals you just have to go to your browser and write scopus.com and as you can see here I have not opened any account there is sign in you can create a free account also but here I am not using any account without creating any account or any subscription you can just log in using scopus.com and after that you can click here sources when you click here sources you will see this page which shows 44,034 results. Now this result is for all the different types of journals listed in the Scopus. Right now at the time when I am recording this video we have around 44,000 Scopus index journal across different disciplines across different subject areas. After this you can select your own subject area and click here you will find different headings agricultural arts humanities biochemistry business management and accounting I'll take an example of business management and accounting now you just have to see if you click here the broad area you will get all the journals listed under this subheading if I apply I'll get all the journals listed under business management and accounting there are 2114 results now if <clears throat> if I select some of the specific areas like marketing if I apply you can see there are 270 journals listed in Scopus. You can further sort your search by dividing it into the quartiles, diff different types of quartiles. There are Q1, Q2, Q3 and Q4 quartiles. If you say I want to search for some Q1 journals, you can click here, click journals, apply. Now the results you will get will be only from Q1 journal. There are 82 Q1 journal listed in Scopus. Here the site score tells about the quality of the journal. What is the level of citations for each journal? The number one journal is International Journal of Information Management which is number one among the Q1. Number two is Journal of Innovation and Knowledge which is OpenX. Now all these things you can look and you can decide and you can read about each journal what is their indexing, what is their quality, is it Q1, is it Q2 and when you click here you will also get to know that the journal is listed in Scopus from which year to which year. Even you can see it was not listed from 1979 till 1984 so it was not there so gap is also mentioned this tells you about the quality of this journal it is very easy you can also check uh, about the quality of publication here also in the category wise and these are the ranks so it is showing that it is ranked number one in social sciences and it is ranked number three in arts and humanities, economics it is 14 and so on business management and accounting it is seventh but it is uh, in the percentile it is q1 actually q1 means uh, top 25 percent and q2 is um, from uh, 25 to 50 percent and q3 is the uh, third quartile which is uh, more than 50 and up to 75 and the last quartile Q4 is the lower 25% right from the 75 till 100. So these are the quality for the uh, publication. These are the uh, ranks for the journal not for 
your publication okay so this is related to the quality of journal in which you are publishing you can also check here the site score rank and the trend when you talk about your journal like i clicked for journal of consumer research you can see it is uh, the site score trend is increasing every year so you can say the quality of journal is good if you talk about the new journals when you go in uh, q4 you will find some of the journals they have up and down here because the quality keeps on fluctuating but when you see the high quality journals in q1 and q2 mostly you will find that the site score values are increasing you can also check here scopus content coverage now every year it is showing how many documents got uh, indexed in scopus one thing i want to make uh, clear for all the viewers that when any of the journal is indexed in scopus it doesn't mean that all the articles published in that journal will be scopus index because when they are indexed in a journal the scopus database try to check the quality of each paper and later on they document here and they try to show that these are the scopus index listed publications and it happens sometime see here in 2021 73 documents got uh, scopus index whereas in 2020 it was only 54 in 19 it is 69 so you can see the fluctuations it means there are some published articles which were published in journal of consumer research but still they were not the scopus index so you can check individually also but for this you need to have your account that is the uh, paid account which is from some of the institution so you can request some of your friends or colleagues someone who has any subscription can check your document whether it is scopus index or not next thing i want to show you that in sources you can select the subject area and like i selected for marketing in business management you have all the list of journals here you can select more than one quartile as well like i want to search all all the journals listed in q1 and q2 and i want journals you can also search book series and conference proceedings and trade publications but we are concentrating on journals here click apply and you will get that in q1 and q2 together you have 126 journals you can also sort all the journals based on the uh, citations site score you click here you will get it next thing i just want to show you about this uh, drop down window here when you click here you have subject area you have title publisher and issn you can also search the uh, journals based on these uh, search criteria but i suggest you that you should go for the subject area that is a very clear uh, criteria on which you can base your search you can select some of the journals which you want to um um read about the quality of publication in which you want to publish your article another important thing that i want to uh, tell you is related to this uh, page and uh, if you have um, the institutional login id or if you have your friends or colleagues anyone having the access paid version of scopus you have extra features once you click here through the institution and you will get all these icons you have this special icon which is search before that it was author search only but now you have this search when you click here you have three uh, different search criterias like you can search using the documents authors or affiliations i just want to show you what is the benefit of uh, this kind of search if you click here author and i'll take example of my name i'll type zia here as surname adil as first name if i search 
you can get that all the ID related to my name is available and all these IDs they have the publications my publications in Scopus it will not show any publication which is not Scopus this is one thing second I have uh, created my free account not the paid one I have created my free account here and after that I have the access to all my publications and I can check each paper which has been published um, like when I go here I can see my own publication I am working here in Al Baha University I click here and I have this publication I can check my own publication I can see it I can see all the co-authors all the information everything is here okay so this is one benefit if you have the access through the institution or uh, the paid one second very good feature is your affiliations if you search some of your affiliations like for example if I write London uh, Business School if I search you will get some amazing results now here you will see all the affiliations are uh, here and if I click London Metropolitan um, University you will get the results now it is showing all the publications documents affiliations only there are uh, 9924 affiliations and there are more than 2000 authors their collaborations which department has published how many papers and all the details if you click here you will get all detail of publication in which year what was the paper who has published the name of authors so these are some amazing features um, that you can explore if you have the paid uh, scopus login ID or paid access so this is all about the Scopus and by the use of this Scopus uh, free uh, account or without creating an account you can search many amazing features even without uh, the subscription one more thing that I want to tell you is uh, related to the Scopus uh, content coverage here when you scroll down you can see the Scopus uh, discontinued sources list you can download this and you can see there are a lot of uh, journals that show that it is uh, still the Scopus uh, covered but you can see the latest uh, list of all the journals which are uh, having the Scopus coverage from this list source another important thing is related to the uh, finding the journal you can find a journal for uh, your paper by this you can click here you can search journal according to the uh, specialization and you can find journal by writing the paper title here and paper abstract and it will suggest the journal so in the end I would just like to tell you that uh, try to use these amazing features provided by Scopus which is uh, without creating an account or even if you create an account which is free you can access all the um, the details related to the quality of publication quartile system Q1, Q2, Q3 and Q4 and based on that you can filter out the journals and you can decide about your publication thank you very much and i hope this uh, will benefit all of you in your good publication and research in future thank you for watching thank you